Hey guys, welcome back to Fast Fix. In this video, we're going to show you the new PC Manager app in Windows 11 23 H2 version. So first thing here, you just need to download this PC Manager. So go to your Google Chrome and here on your Google search, just need to type right here, Microsoft PC Manager, and then click enter. And here basically open up this link, Microsoft PC Manager, and you will find this page, safeguard your PC in a quiet and reliable way. And at the bottom, you'll find compatible with Windows 10, 1809 and above and Windows 11. So just click on this download button and it will start to download this application. And once it's done, as you can see, just click on this uh, file right here. Then basically click on yes and allow this app and then check this box and click on install. So as you can see on your screen, it is now starting to install this Microsoft PC Manager on your computer. So we'll just need to wait until it finished downloading or installing your computer. So uh, after that, you can now use this application here. So again, installing this uh, PC Manager and uh, once it's done, right here there you go just click on the launch now button and it will open up this app so as you can see and then just click on start button now here as you can see the interface this uh pc manager well basically it is a free tool for boosting performance storage management and controlling background app use so PC Manager taps into existing Windows utilities, serving as a central location for controlling and managing them. And they have tested it extensively and find it a handy and easy tool for PC maintenance. So how we can use this one? So basically at the top, you will find here your storage and your temporary files. So basically your memory storage here. And if you want to boost this one, if you click on boost, you can see performance boosted so yeah basically it helps you to uh, boost your pc's performance now here you'll find help check so here you can check now to protect your pc so if you click on that one it's now looking for some issues on your computer so yeah it's a very easy tool for pc maintenance and right here you will find all the files that needs to be repaired so basically here you'll find started apps to be disabled so just need to check this one or you're gonna check the app that you want to uh, disable from start up so basically right here and then once you've done click proceed taking some actions you can see help check completed next here we have storage management so if you click on this one, basically we have some option first, a deep cleanup. So perform a full cleanup here. So scanning, and then select cleanup items that you want to uh, clean or delete from your files. Uh, either they are unnecessary files right there. And you just have to click on the proceed button right there at the top right. So if you click on this one, there we go cleanup completed now the next option here we have manage large files so here we just look at all the large files on your computer so you can manage large files and delete some unnecessary files right here and you can view in a file folder to open up those files so basically select the file that you want to or you need to delete so go back here now here on manage apps you can see here you can remove some rarely used apps to save some space so right here some installed apps that you can uninstall here in storage sense basically it is automatically clean up your temporary files so if you click on this one so storage sense runs when this space is low you clean up enough space to help your system run its best we clean up zero bytes of space in the past months. So figure it will configure the cleanup schedules right here. So yeah, it will help you to boost your PC. 
and here you will find some options for example this process management so here you can add some unused process to make your system run faster so basically if you have some apps right here that uh, you don't want to use or currently not in use so you can end this process right there so there you go so it will help you to boost your PC performance and here on startup apps you can basically disable all the startup apps right here to speed up the boot process so I'm gonna disable all the apps right here and once you're done just need to click on back button and next here we have an option right there at the bottom which is the cleanup so we have done this one so now we will go to security right here at the uh, right side of our uh, screen so if we click on this one you'll find some options first up here we have scan your pc for threats so here you'll find allowed threats right here and basically you can scan your computer so just need to wait here until it uh, scanned some viruses on your computer and here on windows update basically you just need to check your newest update on your computer and here default browser settings if we open up you can set this also all your default apps right there and then we have here taskbar repair you can restore some taskbar appearance so right now i don't have some items to be or needs to be repaired so go back here at the bottom we have pop-up management so here we can enable all the pop-up block on your window now if you go to the settings right there at the top right if we click on this one at the first so you can see pz manager will automatically boost your pz when usage of RAM or there are one gig of temporary files. So basically, I just want to enable this one. So yeah, that's how you basically use this Microsoft PC Manager. So yeah, it is an exciting feature on your Windows 11. So you need to update your Windows 11 23H2 version and download this latest Microsoft PC Manager on your computer. So right now, several tools offer these services, but do not always present the best user experience. So if you're seeking an alternative, so yeah, Microsoft now has its own tool, which is the Microsoft PZ Manager. So there you go. That's how you basically use the PZ Manager. So if you find this video helpful, please consider to like and subscribe to this channel. And please don't forget to hit the notification bell to notify you on the next video.